So you're currently on oversight. There's yep. talk that you might be moved temporarily to the Intelligence uh, Committee. I want to help the country see the truth here that President Trump didn't do anything wrong and what the Democrats are doing is partisan, it's unfair, and frankly, it's ridiculous. Democrats are trying to impeach the President of the United States less than 13 months before an election, 13 months before an election, less than 12 months before the next election, based on an anonymous whistleblower. You don't think the American people have a right to know who that individual is? With no firsthand knowledge, had no firsthand knowledge, has a bias against the President. It's reported that the whistleblower worked with Vice President Biden. The process is being run by partisan people. Pelosi and Schiff's unfair and partisan process this is an unfair and partisan process and this is this is a flawed process to the nth degree more than half a dozen u.s officials form the basis for this complaint from the whistleblower who are these more than half a dozen people 435 members only one knows who the whistleblower is one member of this body knows who this person is who started this whole darn crazy process adam schiff why is adam schiff the only one who knows hmm. how is that fair only adam schiff knows that doesn't seem quite right to me. He has a right to protection. That's what the whistleblower statute says. It doesn't say anonymity. Uh, Adam Schiff gets to call the witnesses he wants. We can't see the transcripts. He selectively leaks part of the transcripts. But Republicans have to first submit a list to Adam Schiff to get his approval for any witnesses we or the White House might want. Most members of Congress are not allowed to be present. Mr. Schiff has been making the rules up as he goes along. They're making the rules up as they go along. And then he doesn't even follow the rules that he made up. And oh, in the hearings, actually in the interviews, no White House lawyers can be there. No agency lawyers can be there. The State Department can't have lawyers there. Trying to put a ribbon on a sham process doesn't make it any less of a sham. The president can, can talk with foreign heads of state how he wants. We have the transcript. The, the fact is he released the call. No quid pro quo, as Mr. Mulvaney said. No quid pro quo in the transcript. No pressure, no pushing, no quid pro quo whatsoever. The president's focused on what's best, in the, uh, best uh, for the interest of the United States. Multiple I got to go. Witnesses. Thanks, guys. Multiple Thanks. Witnesses.